um, in the current version of the software, you're required to manually enter a due date. And this step's very easy to leave out and can be frustrating for the requester when they receive the item without a due date. Uh, in the new functionality in the new version will not allow you to ship a loan item unless a due date has been entered. You can enter a due date either manually, as in the current release, or via the pop-up calendar. And as well as the shipped action, there are additional pop-up calendars available for all these actions. And unlike shipped, you don't have to enter a date for any of these. In the current version of BBX, you're required to click on the action button and are then taken to an intermediate screen in order to perform an action on the request. And so B the current version requires the user to go to this intermediate screen in order to select an ILL action. In the new version, there's a drop-down list of available actions on each record in the brief rec request display. You can select the required action from the brief display, then click on the action button, and the system goes directly to the action details screen. So it's no longer necessary to go to an intermediate action screen as in the old version. And there are changes in formats too. Uh, called material type in the old version, there are three item formats available, monograph, serial, and other. Changes in the new version include book replacing monograph and, and serial being replaced by print journal, e-journal, and article online. And the most commonly used item formats will appear. Instead of entering other, you're now able to select, for example, CD-ROM or computer file. And if your request item format isn't available, the value of other will appear. And w when conducting a request, from bib search, the appropriate item format will be defaulted. And the updated list of item formats is now also available on the ILL request search screen. So here's the, the new version of the software with the updated item format list available from the ILL request search screen. Okay, and now we'll discuss some of the features of LA DocDel. Firstly, DocStore, which allows you to send electronic documents. DocStore refers to the functionality to attach, send, and receive an electronic document when responding to a request through LA DocDel. As a requester, if a responder has supplied your request by the LA Docdel doc store, you'll be able to view the document from within LA Docdel. And it's different from other methods of electronic delivery such as Arial, as the doc store facilities are available to all LA Docdel users. Um, you don't need to buy any additional software, hardware, or licenses. Um, it also opens up your supply options from Tapuna responders who may not, not have the specific electronic document transition system like Arial. And you don't have to worry about large email attachments and mailbox size when you use DocStore. And it's centrally managed. The document's linked to the request within LA DocDel, allowing you to see at a glance which request the document has been supplied for. And to manage your workflow better, you can also choose to receive an email alert when your request has been supplied through DocStore. Okay, and now I'll hand over to Scotia to talk about enhanced requesting. Good afternoon, I'm Scotia Ashley from the Libraries Australia Help Desk. Right. Um, all right. Enhanced requesting 
enables a seamless process which is time-saving and efficient. It links Libraries Australia Search, which we know is a powerful user-friendly search interface, with Libraries Australia Document Delivery and its network of libraries. Okay. From December 2004, the Libraries Australia Search Service has offered an enhanced requesting option, allowing users to submit interlibrary loan requests directly from search results. For responding libraries and Libraries Australia document delivery, there's no difference in the process for handling incoming Libraries Australia or standard LAD requests. When you, sus when you subscribe to Libraries Australia, enhanced requesting is turned off by default and will only be turned on when requested. Okay. When enhanced requesting is turned on, you or your end users will be able to obtain items from other libraries by requesting them as an interlibrary loan or copy through completing either two types of request forms. Okay. Or LA.del locations with the option to switch on the enhanced requesting functionality. Locations which are not members of LAD are also able to participate in enhanced requesting. And libraries which use the ISO VDX system to interoperate with LAD are also able to use the enhanced requesting feature as well. The next slide will show this in more detail. So how does it work? Well, the user searches and locates the item in Libraries Australia Search. If enhanced requesting is turned on, they'll get the option of completing a form. If they're an LA.del member, the data is mapped to a formatted email and then processed into Libraries Australia document delivery. If the library is not a LAD member, the request is sent to that library's inter, uh, ILRS or interlibrary resource sharing email address. So who will use it? End users in your library. They'll uh, enhance requesting and improves their ability to acquire items or resources from other library request uh, collections. Library and interlibrary loan staff can use the LA search interface to locate the item using either the simple advanced or command search. Um, a benefit of this being that Libraries Australia search interface has a number of enhanced os options that are not available on Libraries Australia document delivery. So it's a, poor, uh, it's a more powerful search tool. You'll get more results uh, for making interlibrary loans or copies. Access to enhanced requesting is account password protected and it's managed by Libraries Australia administration. Libraries can choose which Libraries Australia search account they wish to have the enhanced requesting turned onto. So it could either be their end user client account, it could be their circulation staff in, or interlibrary loan staff or an option of a number of those two, three. So, I'm now going to run through the process of enhanced requesting. The first step is to start your search in Libraries Australia Search. When the item's been located, you'll select Get This Item. When the At the Other Libraries tab is selected in this second screen, you'll see two further options. Request a loan through your library or request a copy through your library. Select either request a loan or request a copy and you'll be taken to the appropriate form. This screenshots the longer version which the end users complete. There's a slightly different form depending on whether a loan or a copy is requested. 